Today we'd like to look back to uh, the 21st of December 1910 when 344 boys and men were killed in the Pretoria pit disaster. They died because the employer didn't make it safe to them to go to work and come home from work. This year is the 40th anniversary of the minor strike. A strike by a group of workers who, with their families and communities, made an example of what is the very best of us as a society. The example they set in terms of solidarity and community was unbelievable. And it makes us feel proud to be a trade unionist and to be working class to remember those people. The miners throughout history have been at the forefront to push forward health and safety and workers' rights. And they, more than anyone, exemplified what we say today in terms of remember the dead, but fight like hell for the living. And that's what we must take forward. Things have not changed a great deal. People are still being killed around the world, some in terrible conditions. Last year was the hottest year on record, and we have to recognise the impact of climate change on those who are affected. Death at work and employment disruption as a result of this global warming, and not to mention illnesses caused by polluting fossil fuels are rising everywhere and are only expected to increase. Each and every worker is important and so is their life. We need to work together to improve the working conditions and reduce accidents and injuries. Social activist Dorothy Day stated that we have to mourn for the dead and fight like hell for the living. We need to commit to fight to a world that is more, not less safe to work in and advocate for those who are unable to fight for themselves. In July, families are still fighting for compensation for their loved ones who died in Qatar in 2021 in the host up to the World Cup. Investigations of the 6,500 migrant workers' deaths and, and still continue to be failed to be sufficiently investigated. Those people that are dying are people like us, working class people in every town and city around the globe. So we're making demands because as well as remembering the dead, we're fighting for a living. So we're demanding action is taken to invest in the health and safety executive so we can have proper checks in our workplaces and we're calling for a minimum heat of 30 degrees to be legislated to make sure people don't have to work and risk their lives and their bodies when the temperatures rise to a level which nobody should be expected to work in and we're also demanding the introduction, because we know a couple of years ago when we had those really hot temperatures that workers were told, well, you can't work today, so you can use your holidays or you can take unpaid leave. But well, we say that's not good enough. It wasn't the workers that were responsible for the climate crisis. It was the politicians and the corporate greed that's created the problems we face. So we're demanding, and we ask all the trade unions to get behind the demand, that they introduce a furlough scheme, that so when it's too hot for us to work, we don't have to pay for their crisis. Because let's face it, whilst we talk about, oh, you know, there's not enough money, there is plenty of money, people, plenty of money. What we've seen over the last 10, 15 years, the rich have got rich and the poorer have got poorer. So it's not that there's no money around. We have now more millionaires and billionaires in the UK and across the world. Yet the workers are getting worse and worse off. So it's not lack of money, it's the fact that it's not been redistributed to people properly. But we still need to push for a proper working pay for people for the work they do. It's as simple as this. 
And we say it every day of the year, not just the 28th of April. If you're working, join a trade union. If you're a member of a trade union, become active. That's the best way to safeguard your well-being and the wider community.